What up, Jippers? El plays back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. And it feels like a freaking eternity since I was playing on the actual version of No Man's Sky that's out today. So I figured we'd take a little jump back uh, between our modded episodes and just uh, get our fill of current day No Man's Sky because things are about to change big time with the Beyond update, so I figured that would be fun. I'm in a new system, I'm just kind of exploring aimlessly at the moment, and I'm gonna head to this ring planet because it looks cool and it has drawn my attention. How freaking cool does this system look? Like, super deep blue. It's funny, like, playing the... because I've been playing the modded version and I'm still gonna keep playing that because I'm having a lot of fun with it. But, um, it's funny, like, seeing how how much the like graphical fidelity and stuff has improved of like current day version of the game which i i don't know you kind of just like forget about because you think about other things like bright colors uh, and you miss all of the little improvements that have been made along the way i don't know i thought that was interesting can we get there i need to buy my freaking get helmet the tier three is unlocked it wasn't i don't think when i last played on the ps4 like that's how long it's been <laughs> I've just been enjoying my new super PC. That's what it is. Uh, but yeah, like, now the Gek helmet is unlocked. I need 3,000 freaking uh, Quicksilver to buy it. And I don't have anywhere near enough. I've got like half of that. So I need to like get some more Quicksilver so that I can buy the Gek helmet. Because I need it. I need that helmet so bad. <laughs> 53 seconds! Okay, I guess we'll come back when I get to this freaking planet. Okay, I almost made it to the planet. And now <laughs> we have got hostile ships. And that is a lot of arrows. How many ships are there trying to kill me? I do not want any of that. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Five attack ships? What? I am not ready for this. I've not played the game in like three weeks. I'm not ready for five attack ships. Leave me alone. Get out of here, you dang fools. I'm going to lose them in the uh, asteroid field. Ooh, that was close. I almost crashed. We're off to a good start, guys. We are off to a This planet better be freaking worth it. Oh my gosh, how beautiful does that like red light look behind the planet there? I've got to take a little, uh, <laughs> not the time, <laughs> not the time at all. But i got to take a picture of that, like the red glow behind the planet looks awesome, right? Can we like, can we move the sun and make it look even, oh that's cool. How freaking beautiful is this game? Playing this in VR is just going to be like, I'm so excited. And just thinking about it is like, I don't even... I, I can't even imagine what that's going to feel like, playing something like this in VR. VR is, you guys know, something that I love very much. <laughs> so playing something of this kind of scale and like beauty in VR is just going to be great. I cannot wait. I cannot freaking wait. Have I lost these guys yet? Can I go? Insufficient fuel. Okay, uh, that was foolish. I should be able to... It feels weird like trying... <laughs> It honestly feels like it's been years since I played, even though it's only been a couple of weeks. I oh my gosh! I don't even have. I need a. I need to find an asteroid to hit to get. There we go. There we go. There we go. What are those pirates? Did they just get bored and leave me alone? <laughs> they were scared of my fearsome Gek reputation. What do we think, guys? What do we think the uh, the Beyond update is actually going to bring along with it? I'm so like. The bit that real so I I have some ideas of what of what I think the part three is going to be, and I will probably make a separate video about that if I have time. But the one that kind of has me most I don't know like intrigued at the moment is the online update. Of, why am I trying to go into the warp map? Go away. Trying to think like what could be in No Man's Sky online. Like everything I'm hearing. And, like, the words they're using is definitely making me think it's heading, like, big-time multiplayer update. Like, I don't want to say it, but, like, lots and lots of concurrent players, loads of, like, social activities, like, group multiplayer activities, things like dungeons or raids or something like that. And, like, just huge amounts of players being able to play together. That is kind of... Yeah, that, like, the more I keep thinking about, like, but they're saying it's not an MMO, uh, and I get that mostly that's because they don't want people to think they're going to have to pay for things and all that sort of stuff, but I'm like, but what they're saying is still making me think it's going to be basically, like, MMO type update. <laughs> like, like, I'm not, that, that sounds so weird, right? They're, like, they're telling us it's not an MMO, and I'm like, so I think we're getting, like, MMO kind of update. Ooh, hello. Exotic planet. I didn't scan any of the planets in the system because I wanted to just come back and be surprised. And we have got a very nice surprise for the first one. My little geck. My little geck hero. 
See, the terrain, like, people talk about the terrain in the, uh, the olden days. But the terrain scale and, like, variety and stuff, I, to me, I think it looks way better now. Like, here. The things I miss about the olden days are, like, the colours. The bright colours, the, the interesting mixes of colours, you know? Like, uh, pink, long grass. Long grass is the other thing. Long, pink, grassy planets, absolutely beautiful. Two-tone grassy planets you don't really get as much. and Definitely not how they used to be, you know? Like, a planet that was just lush grass as far as the eye could see with like two colors like merging into each other that's the kind of stuff that i miss but everything else about how like the worlds look is way better nowadays but i guess those little things are they definitely have a big impact because i'm a sucker for some pretty grass planets as you guys know what have we got down here uh, i'm gonna take that oh i can get some souvenirs right from when i eventually build a base <laughs> one day maybe maybe when we've got vr i'll start building a base then I was building a huge freaking castle on my Xbox save. Uh, as like a secret project that I was going to do for one of my build episodes. And uh, I haven't checked in on it for like months. It was it was going to be absolutely ginormous. Like freaking huge, huge build. Like the biggest thing I've ever built. Um, why didn't I scan that? I wanted to scan it. But yeah, I, like I don't know. There's been a few updates. So this was in Next. This was in Next. This was before Visions and before the Abyss update. Uh, I, like, I don't think th those updates will have broken anything, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Maybe I should go and check. Indium. Gold. Man, this is a s spooky... There's something really spooky about these kind of exotic planets. I don't know what it is. I think it, there it is a music thing, right? Like, the music right now is pretty eerie and creepy. Like, almost like a, I don't know, like a grating, metal-y sound in the background, in the distance. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Maybe it's the ghosts. I want one of these. Give me one of these. <laughs> what was it? Was it Jared that calls these like chocolate bars? <laughs> they look pretty funny. Uh, right. I don't know if I like... Do I, Do we want to walk around here? I want it to be daytime. That's what I really want. Oh, I want to find one of those little snake things. I still think these... Uh, I think I was talking about this recently, actually. I still believe in my heart that the uh, the giant snake, something like the giant snake will will be coming to No Man's Sky at some point. I don't know when. I don't know if it will be with Beyond Update. Hopefully it will. Maybe it's part of part three. But I definitely think something like that is coming one day. And I feel like the creatures we see on these planets, the exotic type planets, is a was like a prototype, like a test. Kind of like with the orbs for multiplayer, you know. It's like implement something that's kind of along the lines of where we're going with it. Get that up and working and running and then we'll kind of build on it in the future. That's what I feel like these weird shard underground snake things that you find here are. I'm not going to be able to find one now that I've said that though. Gravitino. I'm so tempted to steal the Gravitino balls and I don't need them all. <laughs> like, I've got plenty of money. I don't need a Gravitino ball. There's no reason to steal them apart from uh, getting hassle from the Sentinels. But at the same time, I'm like... I'm really tempted. <laughs> that's that's like the curse of being a geck, you know. It's never enough. There is always more to conquer, more to steal. <laughs> that I mean, who said that? Uh, right, what was that noise? Is there any creature? Look for the creature. I'm scanning. How can I not find a single freaking shard snake creature? They're normally all over the place. Okay, well, forget it then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave this planet. I want to go find a nice bright planet in the daytime because I feel like uh, It's daytime in real life, and this is making me feel sleepy like it's bedtime <laughs> Does anyone else get that like if you're playing a game and it's nighttime and like you're in the game Does, you, does it make you feel like oh god what time is it? Is it late? Like, <laughs> how long have I been playing? <laughs> but actually it's like the middle of the day on a Sunday afternoon uh, Right, where do I want to go next? This place, I'm, I'm so te I'm trying really hard not to scan them before I go to them. I'm just enjoying, like, the surprise of seeing what I get at the moment. But at the same time, like, the habit is just so built into me. I'm like, oh, that looks cool. Let's give it a scan. No, no. <laughs> Don't give it a scan. We must not scan. We must not scan. Which one? Oh, that one looks... Oh, oh, one looks kind of red. One looks kind of orange. I think I'm going to go to the orange one. That has piqued my interest. We'll probably go to all three. Will we have time to go to all three? Or maybe not. I don't know. If we don't get to all three today, we'll get to it in the next episode for sure. Okay. I guess we'll see you when we get to Orange Planet. Planet L, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're here. We are here. And I'm about to land. Let's go. Is that? It almost looks like ocean. 
You can't. Oh, you can get coloured oceans now, right? You can get loads of weird coloured oceans with the visions update. You used to get them before, and then they all changed blue, right? With next, and now they're all different colours again. Or am I just talking nonsense? <laughs> I feel. It feels so weird. I feel like I'm returning to something. Like, oh no, that is not ocean. It is ocean. I freak. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Big fish, big fish. I saw big fish. I 100% saw big fish. Oh my freaking gosh, dude! I saw big fish. No, no, go to camera mode, camera mode, camera mode. I definitely saw a fish that was big. Oh no, where was it? I saw a fish. I definitely caught a glimpse of a big fish. I guess it could have been one of these curved structures. Oh, d did anyone else see that when I was coming down? I saw what looked like big fish. I'm sure I did. Oh, that would be great if we just found, like, the first episode back, and we just found a huge freaking whale in a beautiful orange... An orange ocean. This is definitely the old place planet. <laughs> Where's the fish? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to land this thing. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go find a bit of land. Whoop. Whoop. What is my ship view right now? Like, get out of here, fool. Oh, I think it could have actually been those curved things because now I'm seeing it, but I'm like, oh, they look like big fish, but they cannot be big fish. Okay, here, <laughs> here is an island. We shall conquer this land, and we will call it El Plasia. There you go. I've become the ruler of my own island. Look at this. My own nation. <laughs> You've got to start small with the Gek Empire. <laughs> I wonder if there's, like, bigger bits of land, or is it all like this? Is it, like, a mostly ocean planet? Ketisk Sea System. What? That was very accurate naming. Huh. That's kind of has me intrigued. Let me have a look what the description says. I mean, Gageshen Gamma. Oh, the whole system is called Ketisk Sea. And it was discovered by me, so that's his natural name. And I've just found an entire sea ocean planet. That's pretty cool. That's that's cool, right? Like the way that's kind of coincidentally worked out. I love finding the little coincidences. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go for a swim. Give me a big fi I bet there's not going to be a single freaking creature on this entire planet now that I've got all excited. <laughs> Just a dead- Oh, yes! We have some fishies. Thou shall have a fishy on a little dishy when the bot comes in. Ooh. I feel like I've got a real croaky voice today. It's because I've not been playing enough No Man's Sky. It's made me ill. <laughs> I've got withdrawal. What are you? That looks cool. I'm going to drown in a minute, aren't I? I'm already not paying attention to my life. Oh, wow. Oh, my oxygen thing lasts forever these days. Ha! Gross, gross, gross. Get out of here, evil demon jellyfish. Actually, lead me to the whales. I wish I could... Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Seeing the little fish and the jellyfish together looks kind of cute, right? <laughs> I'm literally in an ocean of orange fanta right now. What was that noise? Holy moly. Oh, the jellyfish. Are they good? I saw their shadows. That was cre Oh, that's creepy, isn't it? Oh, that would be... That, this would actually be terrifying, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, seeing a ginormous freaking jellyfish like that, like, right near you would, would be horrific. <laughs> like, I think I would probably be crying. Salty ocean tears. <laughs> right, which way do we want to go? Where do we feel like the big fish would be? If you were a big fish, which way would you be? I feel like this way. Ooh, oh, I thought that was a big fish. It's a freaking rock. Wee, stop following me. Okay. Oh, there's creatures that way and that way, so I'm going to go like... I know I'm going to regret swimming out this far and then having to like... Go. Oh, this is, this is going to be so good in freaking um, VR. Like, just swimming around in the ocean is going to be just something like this. Like, just swimming like this in VR is going to be absolutely insane. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like, there's no good ocean games that are in VR, really, are there? There are, like, there are, there are a couple of, like, VR experiences um, that I've quite enjoyed. Because uh, you guys know I love underwater stuff. Uh, but none of them are, like, full-on games or anything. And I know the ocean is just, like, a tiny bit of what No Man's Sky has. But it will be a pretty cool ocean to explore in VR. Like, seeing creatures and stuff swimming around and weird alien terrain. I feel like that would be really fun. And it's gonna feel huge. Like, feeling the scale. Everything, all of the interviews from people that have played it and had their, like, hands-on demos and stuff have all said the sense of scale is absolutely insane. So that is gonna be crazy, like, under the ocean. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not drowning. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. How do I get rid of I don't care about this quest. How do I get rid of that? Ooh, there we go. Breathe! Breathe, little gecko! <gasps> okay, which way? <laughs> uh, oh, maybe there's not any big fish. I really thought I saw a big fish. I'm gonna have to, like, watch the footage back. Actually, I don't know. Oh! Oh, we got little Ansel Beaver things! Come here, buddy. Wait, hold on. Did that terrain just, like, pop in as I scanned it? That was weird. Look at him! <laughs> they always look... Oh, whenever I see these in the war, I'm just like... <laughs> How? How is this working? Like, what? <laughs> what mechanism is happening here for this creature to be able to swim around like this? It looks so horribly inefficient, but pretty hilarious at the same time. Oh, they got giant tusks as well. They're like saber tooth rat beavers. Oh, there's a lot of creatures next to each other there. That's cool. Where's a good. Ooh. Ooh, can I, like. Ah, it's weird how. Oh, yeah, then, like, that's what it would look like if the ocean was normal color. That's pretty cool. Look at these things. Oh. Oh, no. That is... You would not want to see that. Like, oh, gosh. I feel like I could outswim one of those, though. If it's just going to doggy paddle like that. <laughs> I probably... I probably can. I don't know how freaking big... That thing is probably huge compared to a person, right? Uh, what's its size? Uh, wait. Scan it. Scan it. Scan it. Okay. It's not going to let me... 64 kilo uh, 0.9 meters. Okay, fine. It's tiny. It's tiny. Yeah, I could definitely outswim one of those. <laughs> right, where's the whale? If there, if there was a big fish and now I can't find it, I'm going to be so sad. I feel like the, the longer you stay in the ocean, like the more creatures just slowly find you. It is, is that, does that happen or is that just like me imagining it? I always feel like that. Whenever I look for a big fish creature, like I never find one. And then after like ages of searching, loads will suddenly start to appear. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is just making me so hyped for VR. <laughs> like that's all I can, all I can, I, I almost like can't properly enjoy playing the game right now because all I'm thinking about is this is going to be great in VR. This is going to be great in VR. This is going to be great in VR. Like everything I see, I'm like, oh, but in VR, this is going to be so much better as well. Oh, I'm so hyped. I like. I was almost gonna do the because um, uh, I've got my Vive headset as well now for the PC, and I've seen people have done like a. Th you, there's a way to get No Man's Sky like properly running on the Vive, but yeah, not really in VR if you know what I mean. It's like the kind of fudged version of it, so you can still play it with a headset and kind of look around and stuff, but it doesn't. It doesn't properly have that VR effect. Obviously, like it's going to when they actually implement it to the game. So I was tempted to like do that just to. Because just that looked really cool. And I was like, hmm, should I do that? Or, and then I was like, I might as well just wait for the actual thing. Because it's going to be so much better. Uh, yeah, so if you didn't realise, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> for the No Man's Sky update. Like, oh gosh. Beyond cannot come soon enough. I don't know when it's... I, like, I feel like at the absolute earliest, the end of July. But I have no idea. Like, it could be June. That would be great. My birthday is in June. So uh, if you're listening, anyone from Hello Games... I'd happily have No Man's Sky Beyond as my birthday present. <laughs> Alright, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I just wanted to pop back into the actual version, current day version of No Man's Sky. Just for an episode, give us a little bit of a reminder and have a little bit of excitement about how different things are going to be when the Beyond update drops. I know some people are worried at the moment because online is multiplayer focused. VR is obviously for people that have VR. Lots of single player people, people that just love exploring, people like me that are like... But what about us? What do we get? I feel like the third update is going to give us some of that goodness. So, yeah, don't don't lose faith just yet. They've not let us down before. And this is going to be the biggest update ever. So, yeah, like, you should still be excited. <laughs> All right, guys, take care of yourselves. And peace. We end the video. I did want to say a very, very big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys are freaking amazing. Akak, Anarchy, Dale from the Atlas Hub, David D, Dead D Reza, Forgotten Stoner, Heath, Jeremy J, Joannes A, J Technique, Kyle Culver, Lukash M, Mac for a Day, Madeline J, Malindog, Mark F, Marky D, Mbal23, Mingri, Neil B, NTB, Ongrad, Autumn Long, Paul L, Rasmus K, Shiroka Majelli, Samwise Gekji, Technical Gaming 101, The Golden Gek, Todd C, Todd H, Ty the Blazer, and Vanilla. You guys are the best. Thank you so, so much for continuing to support me and what I do. Thank you.